Web-based database. A web-based OS is a system where all the applications and the data is held on the internet. The operating system is essentially like any other operating system, except that it runs out of a browser. Traditional web-based systems. Many web systems are still organized as simple clients, server architectures. A client interacts with web servers through a special application known as a browser. Multi-layered architecture. In this, web documents are built in static and dynamic ways. A static web document locates and returns the object identified in the request. Web server does not require communication with any server-side application. In dynamic web documents, the request is forwarded to an application system where the resulting reply is generated automatically. Problems with web-based systems. It can be hacked, deleted, seen by people who shouldn't see it, the PC may crash, and the hard drive wipes out. Web system attacks. An attacker breaks into a legitimate website and posts malware. Malware is no longer exclusive to malicious websites. Today, it's commonplace for legitimate mainstream websites to act as parasite hosts that serve up malware to their unexpecting visitors. Attacking end-user machines. Malware on a website marks its way down to a user's machine when that user visits the host website. Drive-by download happens automatically with no user interaction required. Additional techniques which do not require some input from the user, but in practice are equal, if not more effective. Typical sequence of events. An attacker compromises a good website, visits the website, redirects to a bad website, corrupt code is downloaded, installed on the computer, corrupt software takes control, attack toolkits, profiling the victim, based on specific operating systems and browser types, timing the attack, attack only once every hour, geographical variances, regional attacks on users, Selective use of vulnerabilities based on protection of users. Random attacks. No pattern, no reason, and they're unpredictable. After having seen how attacks happen on computers, the next thing for us to look at is how to secure a web-based system. These systems can be secured by using, number one, a secure IP layer of the TCP slash IP stack. Number two, by using SSL or the Secure Socket Layer or TLS, or the Transport Layer Security Protocols. Number three, secure specific applications by using application-specific security. Thank you.